Are you recording? Mm-hmm. I have a new camera girl today. Turn the camera on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, that's my new camera girl today. So today, me and Mama, my lovely bride Jill, is out here. So she's camera girl today. So if the camera <laughs> video quality is a little bit uh, bad, you can blame her. <laughs> so no, but uh, everybody loves Jill. So um, we're just gonna tell you what kind of what we've been doing and. Uh, Tell you what we're doing now. Uh, I cured some Canadian bacon, and that's right over here. Here's the Canadian bacon hanging, and I cured some bacon, real bacon. So Canadian bacon is cured pork loin. Bacon is cured pork belly. And I actually cured it, so uh, just like I cure a ham. And when you really cure something, it needs no refrigeration, and it needs no uh, uh, cooking to stay on. So if power went out or we didn't want to cook it, that Canadian bacon will be good. And it end up more like prosciutto than it will uh, Canadian bacon. So we may wait till next summer to even tear into that. That would never see a refrigerator. It's been curing out here where the temperatures kind of dip below and above freezing every day here. So we're curing that. So I, that can cure for like 30 to 60 days. Well, I cured some bacon and we want to go ahead and have it because we're desperate for bacon. So here's the bacon. And we're going to go ahead and smoke it. We may throw it in the refrigerator because it won't last long. But it's just the belly. And what I'm doing is it's not cooking it. it we have, I, I powdered some mesquite wood blocks. And they were just the cheap remnants that I got on reduction. So just big chunks of wood. And I ran it through our chipper. And I made powder and chips out of it. I don't know, you can probably even see see some of its powder. You can go in from the side. It's pretty fine. And I wanted it fine because I don't want it to produce heat. I just want it to produce smoke. So you compact it and then it'll only smolder. So the temperature should never get over 120 in there, tops. And it should never see a flame. And it should just put off a lot of smoke or medium amount of smoke for a long period of time and I don't want that bacon pre-cooked. I certainly don't want the grease to start dripping. So we went ahead since we're cold smoking and just getting smoke flavor on it and actually when you cure the smoke will actually help preserve something. So there's a thing called smoke curing and technically this would only aid in the preservation of that meat but it probably won't last that long. It's pretty good. It's pretty simple. It's just salt, brown sugar and we use um, what they call it, Prague powder, powder, which is the regular curing salt, pink salt. But anyways, we put some, and Jill thinks I'm stupid. No, I don't. I just think it's unique. <laughs> I said, let's do some chocolate chips. I've seen people do chocolate chips. So we're smoking some chocolate chips here. And we're going to smoke some cheddar cheese. So, yeah. Um, that's our, our efforts at smoking today, but... The bacon is where it's at. So we just now got it smoking and just just barely got it started. So it's putting off a lot of smoke. My eyes are watering. Good morning. Mama's been, <laughs> Mama's been up since five cooking her children breakfast. And um, she wanted to try the, we made Canadian bacon. I just thought I'd show you. We've been just, we hung some pork loins in the garage for a month, uh, so we cured them. So we're uh, trying out the Canadian bacon here this morning. So um, here we go. Yeah, so nice cured meat. Hasn't seen refrigeration since, I don't know, November, I guess. And here it is January, so yeah. Looking good. Uh, I'm going to slice it out and show you a little bit more. Okay, there is the loin. 
and you can see it stretched out and it cured nicely uh, there's some slices of it so it's not ham it's Canadian bacon and that's where you cure loin. So this has been sitting out there just in the, it's been wrapped in butcher paper or brown paper. But, uh, you know, it's, it's gotten up to 60 and 70 a few time, degrees on it a few times. Uh, but it's gotten down to 18 degrees too. So it goes freeze and thaw, but with, it's a higher salt content. It doesn't freeze right at 32 degrees. And we've had a unseasonably warm December and, it definitely was above refrigeration levels and above freezer levels. So that's what it looks like. Here's the bacon we made right here. So there's the bacon and there's the Canadian bacon. So looking good. I'm gonna chunk this up and we'll just, there's another one out there. Looks so beautiful, nice. It tastes good too. It's not an overly sweet recipe. Yeah, gorgeous. That's a beautiful loin. And technically it's, you know, it's cured. I can, oh, it's tender. I mean, you can't exactly say that's raw. Here's the bacon again. So, probably could have cut it that way too, but uh, bacon is wonderful. We smoked that. This was not smoked. So, we'll uh, fry it up here. I'll show you. Okay, little update here. Here it is fried up. And, you know, it's kind of like, a little bit like country ham. Oh, that's good. Very good. And... There's Emma looking around to see what she can eat. Six o'clock, but Lemuel's doing schoolwork. Poor Lemuel. He uh, has to do schoolwork. Did you do schoolwork on Christmas Day or just the day no, after? We didn't do it <laughs> the day mom, after. We did it because mom was had to get stuff. Yeah, there. tidying up. So, see, we do a little different. You know, you see our children out with harvest, and you're like, they're not doing schoolwork. And you're right, they're not doing schoolwork. But here it is, you know, the day after New Year's, and they're doing schoolwork. And all the public schoolers, they're just at home doing nothing. But So we just opt to take our free days, and when the weather's good, and there's stuff to do, and there's valuable stuff to be done outside, both in learning and production, they're outside. It's cold and miserable outside right now, uh, even though it's on the calendar says, hey, it should be Christmas break or winter break, as they call it. No, they're doing schoolwork. It's good for them, and, and it gives them a, a structure, and here he is, 6 o'clock of the morning, doing schoolwork uh, on Christmas break. So, But that's just the way it is. So, um, And here we have... Isella's watching her favorite movie... Oh, that's quite a scene to catch. Wow! <laughs> that's The Blind. Uh, the story of Phil Robertson. Highly recommend watching The Blind. So, if you haven't watched the... There's a few things we would recommend. Uh, the Blind. Um, and uh, Isella likes uh, Teenage Farmer. Give a shout out to Ryan, Teenage Farmer. His YouTube channel. And we like Iowa Country Girl. Scott's a pretty good friend of mine, and Rachel does Iowa Country Girl. So, um, check out Iowa Country Girl channel. Um, so, got the whole crew doing schoolwork this morning. Oh, I'm going earliest. Yeah, Isella's is almost finished with her movie, The Blind, for today. And Isella and I were thinking we should do a giveaway. So, we're going to give away five copies of The Blind. So you can choose a DVD or um, we'll buy it for you on YouTube. I'm sure you, we can get you your copy. It's just a digital copy where you watch it on YouTube. So we'll support YouTube. They support us. And 
we will get your information to either uh, get you a, a Amazon DVD copy or a YouTube digital copy. And if you want to rent it, we'll rent it for you. I mean, we might have to cap out on how much, but I mean, maybe like 100 people. We could maybe rent it for 100 people if there was that many people that wanted to watch it. So if you want to watch The Blind, we will rent it for you. And we'll try to figure out the whole rent it for you on YouTube deal too. So I think it's going to be more work for us on, on it, but it's worth it. So we'll um, figure out. So if you want to watch The Blind, enter to win your own copy or... Uh, if you say I want to watch the blind just comment below I want to watch the blind and we will take one of these comment randomizer generator generators and uh, We'll pick five winners to have their own copy and then if you want to watch it We will try hard to get you get it rented for you enough to watch it. So uh, comment below. I want to watch the blind